question that was mentioned earlier about being in a difficult, demanding organization and feeling really burnt out, but also having an interview and trying to figure out how to sell themselves. Um, that is so much more common than you may think, whoever, whoever you are that said that. Um, and it's easy to think that if you're not in the situation that you're in, that whoever is knocking on your door might be the answer. And I can tell you that going out there and just trying to get yourself together and go present yourself and make the best sell you possibly can is may could possibly end up making you even more frustrated because it is almost humanly impossible, except for maybe the pathologics, okay, out there, almost humanly impossible for us to truly disguise what's happening in our heart and what we're feeling. And it usually comes out, no matter how well you think you can hide it, you know, people interviewing, just human beings in general, they're designed to sense that. They're also designed to sense that maybe you're just interviewing because you're burnt out or not you're not liking your job. Even if you said nothing that would literally say that, they can feel it. The answer that's going to work to get you out of this situation is not to leave your job. Okay. I mean, you may need to leave your job for mental health reasons. That's, that's, you know, you can't, uh, degrade your mental health. And I myself have been in those situations before, uh, situation. And so, so you may need to do that for mental health, but let's not try and let it get there. Come up with a plan first. And it's, it's the best career insurance that you could possibly buy is to figure out ahead of time where that value and where that passion is going to intersect and have a plan in order to get there and be directing your attention because you know as as the part of the brain tells us that's the reticular activating system we only notice what we're expecting to see and until you understand what that is and you have a clear vision of what that is, opportunity could be in front of you and you're not taking advantage of it. But when you have a plan to, to know what you want your future to look like and know that you're not going to be in this demanding, grueling situation forever and know that maybe this plan might take six months, okay? Who knows? Maybe it'll take a year. Maybe it'll take two months. Who knows? But you have a plan, then what happens is your ability to even deal with the corporate BS that you may be getting in your current role, you start, it starts not to bother you as much, starts to water off a duck's back a little bit. And then when you actually get to the interviews for the ones that you want, now all of a sudden it's like this open of passion comes gushing out and you may not even have to say the right things and they'll see and feel it. I've seen so many people in that situation, and that's really the only solution you can count on.